AITA for refusing to apologize for not telling my ex-son-in-law about our family's history of mental illness? My 60F, son-in-law, 43M, and daughter, 43F, had a very ugly divorce that has resulted in their kids, 18M, 15F, 10M, no longer speaking to their dad and my ex sales side of the family no longer speaking to us, and refusing to attend any holiday or birthday event for the grandkids if we are involved in any way. My son-in-law spent time in jail for screaming at the judge handling the divorce case calling him, a piece of human trash, and enabler of deception, and bragging about writing rants about the judge online. My daughter was diagnosed with schizophrenia a few years into her marriage. Now her ex demands that my husband and I apologize and pay him damages because he claims we should have told him before the wedding 22.5 years ago that our family has a history of mental illness. At the time of their wedding my daughter did not show symptoms. My mom, who was already deceased at the time, had schizophrenia. A few relatives in the generation before her also may have had it but they were in a time where it was hushed up. My husband and I did not have any mental health issues. My daughter gets married and a few years into it she shows symptoms and gets diagnosed with schizophrenia. Her ex knew this and continued to be married to her and signing up for fatherhood with her. My daughter found it hard to keep employment and was stifled in her marriage. She filed for divorce and only then did her mental health become an issue with her ex. He posted rants that he wanted an annulment because he was lied to and he wouldn't have married her if he knew she was going to be insane. A lawyer friend told him he did know for years about the family history after my daughter got diagnosed and didn't ask for an annulment for nearly two decades, and California rarely grants them, very few lawyers do them. The judge implied my ex SAL's vocational experts and he himself were untruthful about my daughter's employment prospects and ruled for alimony that had the potential to be renewed indefinitely since this is a long-term marriage by CA standards. My SAL is furious at having to pay that and that it's insulting he has to be given a legally mandated amount to send his children. He claims there was never a marriage to begin with. Now he says we are the real villains because we knew and should have made sure he knew and not just assumed he knew that our daughter could become mentally ill. He said as compensation, we needed to pay for his lawyers and support our daughter so his alimony is zero because the judge hates him now because of my lie and will likely extend her alimony forever as they are past 10 years of marriage in California. I told him I'm not apologizing for not revealing privileged medical information that wasn't mine to reveal. Ita.